One day, in the Hundred Acre Wood, Winnie the Pooh was going for a quiet walk with his good friend, Christopher Robin. Oh, bother. There's a rumbly in my tumbly. <laughs> You're always hungry, Pooh Bear. I know. Why don't you try thinking of something besides your tummy? That's a very good idea, Christopher Robin. Now, I wonder what else I could think about. Well, you could remember some of your favourite times. Oh, yes. Now, think, think, think. Well, I think my favourite times are always the friendliest times. And birthday parties are very friendly indeed. It's our good friend, Gopher. Now, to forget about being hungry, mm. Winnie the Pooh remembered the birthday of one of his very dear friends. Today is Piglet's birthday. I had better go see if he needs help getting ready for his party. Say there, Sonny. If you want to visit Piglet, it's going to be a problem. Got to open the gate first, you know. Personally, I'd use the key on the tree stump. Oh. Perfect! With that key, opening the gate will be simple. It seems to me that this iron key must open a gate. Hmm. Spectacular! Now you better skedaddle on out of here and go see Piglet. Last time I saw him, he looked worried. Why, hello, Pooh Bear. Are you going to visit Piglet today? Oh, yes. As today is his birthday, I thought it would be the perfect day to pay him a birthday visit. Oh, he'll be very happy to see you. But do be careful, dear. One of the boards is missing on the bridge to oh, his house. It should be replaced. That path's blocked. Gonna have to push this box out of the way if you want to get by. Superb! Now the path is clear as a whistle.
Hey there, Sonny. That tummy of yours sure is making a lot of noise. The heffalumps will know just where you are. Better skedaddle away from them. Oh, bother. I don't suppose you know how to frighten away a heffalump? <laughs> Course I do. I'm an expert. Just find a balloon and pop it. That's sure to make them run away.